What's up guys, Adam at Tailwater Outfitters, and today we're talking about the top five redfish baits of all time. So redfish are a pretty crazy species. They live from, you know, the Texas coast all the way down Louisiana, Mississippi, the panhandle of Florida all the way down, not really through the entire Keys, but pretty close back up the east coast of florida all the way up through you know georgia south carolina north carolina their spread is absolutely gigantic now the forage they eat is obviously a little different through these areas there's not the exact same forage in a geographical area that's that large but they definitely key in on very very similar types of forage and there's a lot of baits that'll work really well in pretty much all of those areas now each area will obviously have some hotter baits and stuff that works really well specifically for that area. But at the end of the day, the species is the same. Redfish are redfish. So let's hit real quick some of the forage that they're gonna eat. They love crustaceans, right? So their mouth is on the bottom of their head, so that means they like to eat off the bottom. That's why you see them tailing a lot, especially in our area. They're eating crabs, they're eating shrimp, they're eating worms, they're eating bait that's died like pinfish, mullet, pieces of ladyfish, decomposing stuff like that on the bottom is what they key in on a lot. In some areas, they eat baits like croakers, they eat greenbacks, they eat mud minnows. I mean, there's all kinds of baits that they eat. So let's start the list off here with number five, the legendary gulp shrimp. This is the new penny color and the four inch size. This is a bait I threw a lot as a kid. My buddy, his parents live on Tampa Bay. We used to go out. We used to see a big school of redfish coming by and they were mobile, they were moving down the flat. We used to throw one of these out in front of the school and literally leave it there. That's it, the school would move over the shrimp. You can see all of the gross scent that's going on in there. If you ever got this stuff on your shirt or on you know gloves or whatever, you basically have to throw them away. Um, but the fish would move over it, they would pick it up almost every single time. I like to rig it up on something like this. This is a quarter ounce four aught Z-Man Headlocks HD. This is one of my favorite jig heads to use, uh, but it works really, really well. You can pair that down to an eighth ounce if you like if you're fishing really shallow water, but phenomenal bait. It catches the fire out of the redfish. All right, number four, pretty unconventional, but hear me out here. This is the all new Z-Man TRD Gobies. I've got it rigged up on one of their 1 10th ounce TRD jig heads, but this is a absolutely phenomenal bait. Now this is a bait that's probably pretty specific to our area. Uh, I can see this working all down this, the, the west coast of Florida though, especially in the winter time. This is a phenomenal bait. We caught a lot of fish on this bait this winter when the red redfish are in a foot of water or less. We're up there on a skiff, we're pulling around being very, very stealthy. The water is nice and calm, very, very clear. The redfish don't really wanna chase down a bait that's that big when our water is cold like that. They want a quick, easy meal that they can grab and slowly move on because that's what they do when the water's cool these fish slow down their metabolism slows down and they're looking for small forage and this is a pretty sight cast specific bait if you're blind casting this bait you'll probably pick up a lot of fish you don't want a lot of pinfish a lot of ladyfish lizard fish i mean just stuff like that that you really don't want to be catching so this is definitely a sight fishing bait all right, number three, it's the legendary Hedden Super Spook Junior. And this is the redfish color. I mean, all the colors work pretty well, to be honest, but this is an absolutely phenomenal bait. Like I said before, redfish have their, you know, the mouth is on the chin kind of, it's on the lower part of their face. Um, so it's a little hard for them to eat top water. They got to kind of raise their mouth up or, you know, get a good angle on it, but that makes an incredible top water bite. Redfish love to eat top water. Sometimes if they have their faces really, really deep in the grass, it's hard to get their attention with something. So something loud, you hear that rattle? Something loud like this will get them to pick their head up and look around to see what that is. So this is a phenomenal bait. This is an amazing trout bait too, but we're talking redfish today. Snook will easily slam this too. I've caught a lot of snook on it. Uh, but again, if you can't get their attention with something, throw this. You, you don't wanna land it on them, but you wanna land it past them really far and just bring it to them. But phenomenal, phenomenal bait that will pick their face up out of the grass. All right, number two coming in. This is the Johnson silver minnow but it's a gold spoon this is a 1 8 ounce this is an absolute legendary bait this is probably one of the oldest baits in this list here next to the head and spook uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal it's got a weed guard on there very very weedless bait 
Now I've seen tons and tons of people using these over the years. To be totally honest, I've not really used a spoon a whole lot in my life, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. There's tons and tons of people uh, that have used these for decades and caught tons of redfish. And this is one of those baits too that seems to be pretty universal in the whole area from Texas to North Carolina like we talked about. This seems to be a universal bait that has crushed fish in that entire area. All right, coming in at number one, here we are. This is the Z-Man Minnows in the redfish toad color. And I've got it rigged on a Z-Man Pro Bullets 3 16 ounce, it's a three out hook, 100% totally weedless. Throw this in the mangroves, comes right out. Throw this in the thickest grass, comes right out. Put it in the redfish mouth and it stays in there. So this is a phenomenal bait. This is another great bait for sight fishing, but you can also blind cast this bait very, very well. Uh, we caught tons and tons of fish on this recently, and this is a good bait as well. I mean, there's so many bait fish like this in all those areas we talked about. This looks just like a pinfish. This looks just like a finger mullet. This looks just like a croaker. You can even throw the bigger size if you like. I mean, this looks like so many different bait fish that redfish are gonna be keying in on. You can put some pro cure on this if you like, get a little bit of stink in the water. But this is a phenomenal bait that you will definitely catch fish on. So that's it guys, that's our top five redfish baits of all time. Let us know in the comments what you think. We'll have links to all these baits down in the description. You can pick them up at tailwatershop.com. Hey.